Hey Dad, how hot does this have to get? 310. 310 what? 310 degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't Celsius or Kelvin. You know? Who's Kelvin? And this is the next batch right here? Yep. Corn syrup, sugar, and water, a little cream of tartar. And that's it. That's it? All the ingredients you can turn on. <laughs> I hope. And what what do you call this contraption? This is an antique uh, chopper. Put the string of or a rope of candy across and it chops it to little pieces. That's how you make all the little pieces. So if this broke, how would you get another one? <laughs> Can you get another one? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> See, it's uh, it's in pretty good shape. It actually, it is. It's just uh, it's like. Two hundred years? Not that old. <laughs> Not as old as you? No. Wait, wait, say that again for the camera, Mom. I'm gonna add the flavor in the kettle instead of on the table because orange is a weak flavor. I usually pour it on the table. This doesn't look like a table. It's very untable like. Some might even call it a kettle. Pot called the kettle. 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 Wow. I like orange a lot. It's like one of my favorites probably. Oh look! Syracuse orange. So not harsh. Is that why you guys uh why you guys do orange? Because we're in Syracuse? People hate it, but we make it anyways. <laughs> Just because because of SU. Uh-huh. Is this dad's cup? The uh, my little pony one? Actually, yes it is. <laughs> that was the only clean one I could find. Uh-huh. It's his favorite cup. It's my favorite cup. Sounds like your chores start changing. This doesn't go right if he doesn't use that cup. Yeah. Lucky cup. Mm-hmm. What are you doing now? Is that like another droop test? No, I'm just trying to get the, the candy off the paddle as much as I can before I take it out. That looks like a pretty high-tech paddle, too. Yep. Is that the paddle holder over there? Paddle holder, yep. Someone okay. call it a nail. Yeah. Okay. We're ready. Oh, my Yesterday, I bought sugar, and I noticed it said non-GMO. Yeah. Yeah, that was good, right? I guess. I guess it's healthy sugar. They didn't have any with GMOs, so I got it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, GMO sugar is just sugar beet sugar, so it's probably sugar cane. That's probably what it was. Okay. Oh, he's got like a, a Bill Cosby sweater on. I like it. It's colorful. Yeah. Oh, I guess I don't have to all this hard work. Yeah, oh. take the load off. The thing about oranges it doesn't make you cry. Yeah. So we're doing next. Mm, peppermint. Yes. That's what I thought.
We're actually going to do um, a double batch of peppermint because we need the hard candy to smash up and put in peppermint bark. Mm -hmm. The blob. It's coming close to me. This is son of a blob. Son of a blob. You talking about me or the the blob? The blob. I wouldn't call me a blob. Yeah. Or your popsicle. Chilling up now. I'm gonna go back to the middle because apparently it's pretty chilly there. Mm -hmm. Turn cold quickly. I'm gonna add the food coloring. Hooray! So I know you're going to make like a whole video about how to order ribbon candy, yeah. uh, but uh, you want to tell people how this tastes exactly the same as ribbon candy, but it won't break sure. as much? I'd be happy to. It's the same recipe. Even on the table, we do the same stuff to it. It's just when we go over and find a candy heater, what we do to it there that makes it hard candy or ribbon candy. We're just going to put this through a high-tech chopping machine. Mm hmm which you guys already saw. Yes. That's how we're going to chop it up. So we're not going to use little tiny scissors. And so this will travel much better than uh, ribbon candy. Ribbon candy, we promise, will be little shards of pretty colored sugar. But this, same recipe, much sturdier and more travelable. Is that the technical term? Shippable. Travelable and shippable? Yeah, they're like the same thing mostly. But if people really want pretty colored shards of sugar, this starts out as life as ribbon candy. Instead of lumps of sugar? Instead of what? Instead of lumps of sugar? Yes, this will be um, more uniform lumps of sugar. Flavored sugar. Right, and colored. Mm -hmm. How's it doing on the droop test? Not so good. It's droopier than we Too would droopy. like. Too droopy. Too droopy. Oh, you got some stuck to your glove? No big. Happened before. Everybody came out okay. Mostly. Hey, Dad. Who made that Hercules candy co-sign that Mom's head's in the way of? Brad. Brad did? Brad. He used to do woodworking. Oh, really? Is that paint or like, is it? Oh, no, that's uh, burned burn? into it. Oh, it burned into it? Yeah. Wow. It's pretty legit. Now it's getting oh, there, yeah. Steve. Looking, looking good. Move it down here. It chills it right, chills it right up. Or down, whatever. Whatever direction you want to go. It's less hot. Right. Stop playing your food. Whoa, look at that. 
Dad's got a big hand. It's huge. It's huge, Tom. Huge. <laughs> Tom. Tom. But Billy Fusillo and what's the other guy's name? Tom. Tom. Just Tom? Tom Parks. Oh, okay. I thought he had just had like one name, like McLovin. Like Madonna? McLovin. Or I guess Madonna. Cher? Yeah. I don't know any McLovin. Who is this McLovin person? Super bad. Oh. Come on, Mom. Have I watched Super Bad a lot? Uh, probably a couple times. Was I awake for it? Not, not gonna guarantee that. Do you just want to make it like a lighter color orange? Yep. Yeah. Cool it down. Arad. 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 Strike that. Reverse it. Add air. So what's the high type on sticker look like? It's new. Candy only, what's that say? Candy only. Candy only. For, and then it says for candy only again. Just in case you didn't see it the first it. time. Yeah. <laughs> just oh, don't worry, it says it on both sides. Yep. <laughs> Three but, times. Hold on. Candy making only. Wow. If somebody used it for anything but that. You're dead me. I don't know. They're, no, more than that, they're just dumb and illiterate. He bank. Stuck there. Yeah, a little bit. There, there we go. go. This is a good shot. Orange candy next to SU. Yeah, that's pretty good. What on earth? What was that? Dustpan. Dustpan. Oh, or a dustpan. Dust shifted. Pan. Can you Wasn't there Oompa Loompas stuck in there? Yes. No Oompa Loompas were harmed in the making of this candy. Not yet. So where can you get a candy cane hook like this? Or just a candy hook, I said I should say. I don't think they're made, they're just like passed down from generation to generation, but I don't know where they came from originally. I think they were given out at the beginning of time. Yeah. Just always existed. Yep. You just have to find them. I think you these are like the same as the old meat. Packing companies. I don't know if they still have them. Probably also handed out down by generation to generation. Need a dip? Oh, yep. One more. Okay, I guess I can take it off. Got that cool artsy look. Oh, I'm down really low. Oh, that's in focus. Now I gotta get that in focus. Oh, look how artsy I am. There's just so many ways to be artsy, aren't there? Yeah. Especially with this autofocus. Oh, no, I focused on the wrong thing. Shit. Well. There's no going back. Yeah, no going back now. I'm gonna go up get nice and shiny. Nice candy. Pretty <laughs> candy. Aw, candy, I love you. I love it, and I pat it. <laughs> I crush it! <laughs> what, is it? what are the exact words, Dad? You would know. <laughs> no, I never saw it. Don't know what you're talking about. Dad, you pretend to be Chris Farley for a second. <laughs> what does he say? I hog it, I rub it. And then I squeeze it back! <laughs> That's where it all goes wrong. And then she gets some chicken wings, right? Yeah. <laughs> and she says, boy, you're sick. <laughs> you're sick. <laughs>
He did have a head wound. He wasn't himself. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he had a lot of head wounds in that movie. Funny movie. If you like that oh, kind of thing. Oh, this is the high tech candy cutterizer. How long does it take to learn how to use this contraption? Up to 30 seconds. That long, huh? Yeah. Oh no, you left one behind! There's no going back. Yeah. Well, guess you gotta start this whole batch mm -hmm. over again. Throw it out. Gotta get a lot of different angles for everyone on this, too. Oh, these are the other flavors you guys made. What have you guys made so far? I thought you were just going to say pink flavor. You <laughs> made pink and green. Green flavor. <laughs> and then the green, the lime green one. Is it lime? No, it is not. It is anise. And then the bluish green one, that is clove. Mm. We want it to be bluer, but it's not. Huh. That pink one, what, that winter green one you said? Yep. Because the winter green berries are pink? Apparently. Apparently. It's just a traditional color for some reason. Pepto Bismol. Pepto Bismol flavored? That's winter green ish. Yeah. Surprised it's not a better seller. Pepto Bismol flavored. I don't know. Gum. Bubble gum. That's pink. <laughs> yeah. But not winter green. Do all pink things taste the same? Mostly. Tastes like pink. Pick the singer. Pink is my favorite color. <laughs> Finish it, Steve. I don't know. Don't lose us. Is that a song? It's like Steven Tyler is right here. <laughs> you know, the Aerosmith. The Aerosmith. These are way smaller than uh, the candy cane ribbon cane batch. Or candy cane and ribbon cane batches. Ribbon candy batches. Say that again. What? I can't. <laughs> it was too hard the first time. These are nine pound batches in ribbon candy. Those can be anywhere from 15 to 18. These are just small batches because not huge hard sellers. candies don't sell as much as they used to anymore. But if you try to if you try to discontinue it, people will freak out. Yeah. That's how so it works. You have to have kind of a happy medium. So this is only gonna make about uh, 63 pounds. For the whole day, you mean? Yep. So you have anise, winter green, orange, and what was the other one? Clove. Clove. And then what else are you guys doing today? Well you will do peppermint, I think cinnamon, although it could be lemon. I'll have to look at the label. And molasses. Hmm. And how do you guys do molasses? Use, use real molasses. Oh, when you guys uh, made the candy canes, didn't you use uh, all the other extra pieces or something? Yeah, anything extra pieces, you just throw it in there because the molasses covers it over. Hmm. This, this adds more volume? Yeah, it does add more volume. That's the secret. Mm -hmm. More, it makes it more voluminous. More gooder even? Especially more gooder. Is there a certain technique to picking up the metal and moving more, it and putting it back? More than you'd think. You have to give it a certain flick of your wrist so that it busts it up and it lands. Alright, I think you guys get the picture. This is pretty much all I do until... They run out of candy. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> 